Hi, it's Elsa from ISA Education. Traditionally, rockets are fueled by a chemical reaction that pushes them upwards. But how does that work? Let's find out. Traditionally, rockets are fueled by a chemical reaction that creates a thrust that pushes them upwards. Let's investigate how this works. To launch a rocket, thousands of kilograms of fuel must be burned continuously in just a few minutes. The burning fuel produces hot gases that are forced out of the back of the rocket, giving it the force and acceleration that it needs to launch. As the hot gases are pushed downwards, a reaction force pushes the rocket upwards. This reaction force is called thrust. Newton's third law explains how rockets produce thrust. Take two objects. When one object applies a force on the second object, the second object simultaneously reacts with an equal and opposite force on the first object. In this activity, effervescent canister rockets can help us investigate the relationship between the amount of fuel that a rocket uses and the distance that it travels. For this activity, you will need one 35 millimeter white film canister, effervescent tablets, such as Alka-Seltzer, paper, water, sticky tape, a pair of scissors, and glue. Place the canister on the paper to measure its length and cut the paper to size. Wrap the paper around the body of the canister rocket. Use sticky tape to draw a circle that will be the nose of your rocket. Cut it out and make a small cut in the radial length to create your nose cone. Stick the nose cone to the rocket. Now, add some fun decorations to your rocket. It's time to go outside. Fill a third of the canister with water. Put a third of the tablet into the canister and close it immediately. Move far away and wait for it to be propelled up, up, up. These effervescent canister rockets demonstrate the relationship between the amount of fuel that a rocket uses and the distance that it travels.